Similar figures are the same shape and have proportional sides. So in, for in order for shapes to be similar, or figures to be similar, they need to be the exact same shape. So that's different than congruent, and that congruent has to be the exact same size and shape. This side has to be equal to this side. This side has to be congruent to this side. This side has to be congruent to this side. Similar figures just means their sides have to be in proportion. Such that if I set up a ratio, A is to B as C is to D. Now you could also write a proportion A is to C as B is to D. Or A is to B as C is to D. So to find the missing side right here, we're going to set up a proportion. So we're going to do 20 is to 18 as D is to 90. So 18 and 90 are in corresponding positions. That's why they're both on the bottom. They could also both be on the top. And then 20 and D are in corresponding positions. So there's different ways that you could set up. I could have went 20 is to D as 18 is to 90. So I'm going to cross multiply. If I cross multiply in this one or this one, I'm still getting the same answer. So I cross multiply. So it's 18 times D equals 20 times 90. So this is 18 D equals 2 times 9 is 18. And then two zeros because it's 100. So D equals 100. And you want to make sure that you put units. So 100 feet. Okay, B. A scale on a map is 1 inch is 10 miles. Approximately how far away are two cities who are 1.7 inches apart on the map? So you want to set up a, a proportion. So a proportion is two ratios that are equal, just like we did here. We had two ratios that were equal. So we want to set up a proportion here. So I'm going to use the scale as 1. So I'd have 1 inch is to 10 miles equals, and I have to be careful that I want to put 1.7 in, inches in the numerator because I always want my units to be in the same position. So I'm going to put 1.75 and we don't know how many miles so we're going to let that be x. Now I'm going to cross multiply. So 1 times x is just x equals 10 times 1.75. So if you multiply something by 10, you just need to move the decimal over. So it's 17.5 miles. And then C, are the two figures similar? So they're triangles, but are their sides, are their sides in proportion? I know they're isosceles triangle. This tick means if this has one tick and this has one tick, these means that these two are equal. So I'm going to put a 7 right here. And I know that this has to be a 3.5. So if the two figures are similar, their sides are in proportion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first triangle and I'm going to write the side lengths out from least to greatest. So I'm going to write 7, 7, and 8. And then I'm going to take the second triangle and make, write these side lengths from least to greatest. So 3.5, 3.5, and 4. If all of these ratios are equal, that means that it's a similar figure because, this, because the sides are in proportion. So in this case, these are all equal to 2. So yes, the sides are proportional. Because it asked me to explain. Okay, next one, find the missing side length of the missing figures below, or similar figures below. So look at this red one. I'm just going to kind of split it up. 
The red one is 4 by x, and then the big blue one is, this distance is 6, so 6 to 10. So I'm going to write the proportion x is to 4 as 10 is to 6, and cross multiply. So 6x equals 40, x equals 10 thirds, nope, 20 thirds. And there's no units, so I'm just going to write 20 thirds.